Hi guys, welcome. So in this video, uh, I'm going to demonstrate the OVAD2 module, uh, how it can be used to issue tokens and use those tokens to access the protected resources. We're going to see the resource owner password credentials grant type. And for this demonstration, I'm using OpenMRS 1.11.1 and Fire module uh, 0.9 snapshot. So during the midterm presentation of the OVAD2 module, uh, I demonstrated the client registration process using the uh, using the module and an external authorization server which was based on Spring Security OAuth handled the OAuth 2 based ta tasks like uh, issuing tokens and managing them. So the main goal after the midterm was to quickly migrate this external authorization servers to the OpenMRS server and operated using the OAuth 2 module. Uh, there were some compatibility issues on migrating uh, the authorization server into OpenMRS. Uh, they were basically because Spring Security OAuth requires a minimum of Spring 3.1 and OpenMRS 1.10 and uh, lower run on Spring 3.0.5. So we had a design call on 6 July 2015 and agreed upon the following plan of action. So first, the development of the OVAD2 module had to be completed against OpenMRS 1.11 and uh, it works because uh, it is based on Spring 3.2.7 and Spring secu Security OAuth uh, requires Spring 3.1 or higher. Uh, then uh, it was planned to demonstrate the OVAD2 module and how it will protect the fire resources and this will be done on OpenMRS 1.11. So once uh, this is complete, then we'll figure out some smart way to support OVAD2 on lower versions of uh, OpenMRS. So Darius also suggested that other uh, there should be a way uh, so that other modules which wish to use uh, OVAD2, uh, they should be able to use it without any explicit knowledge of the OVAD2 module. So there should not be any dependency uh, that other modules should have on the OVAD2 module in order to protect their resources using OVAD2. So uh, this has been taken care of uh, because Spring Security is basically a filter chain. So it intercepts the request to other modules and uh, we can apply uh, the OVAD2 concepts after uh, in those filters it, uh, themselves. So let me talk a bit about the setup for the demo. Uh, I have open MRS 1.1.1.1 running and I have installed the OVAD2 and the FIRE module. Uh, the installation order is important. Uh, the OVAD2 module needs to be installed first uh, because uh, the order in which the modules are installed is the same order in which the filters of these modules are loaded. And uh, Spring Security filters need to be loaded before any uh, filters uh, that fall under the protected resources and that makes sense too. So uh, also no changes were made to the fire module. The OR2 module simply intercepts the requests to the fire module and then uh, handles token validation. So I have an OR2 client uh, which has uh, the following client credentials you can see. Uh, the token endpoint is uh, slash uh, wa slash over slash token and uh, either in the parameters or in the authorization header we include the client credentials uh, for accessing the protected resources uh, we are going to access the following location resource which has this uuid you can see all right so let's move on to the demo okay uh, welcome to the demo guys so I have OpenMRS running on another machine on the local network uh, which has this IP address and uh, the FIRE module and the OR2 module are already installed. So let's try and access a FIRE location resource with this UUID and see what happens. So I get a status of 401 unauthorized uh, that is because I did not include any access token uh, with my request so uh, the first step for me is to get an access token and then I'm going to make the same request uh, by including the access token in the uh, authorization header of this uh, very same request so to get the access token I'll query the 
token endpoint uh, which is yeah this is the template for that as i'm using the uh, resource owner password credentials grant type hence grant type is password client is open on this client i think it's gonna pop up with the http base here these are the resource owners password credentials yeah so here i have to enter the client details all right so i get the access token which is this it's a bearer bearer type token so uh, whoever bears this token will be granted access to the resource and uh, the refresh token is also issued at the same time so now we are going to make a request uh, to the fire resource at the same we are going to include uh, the token that was issued So now when I include the uh, authorization header and uh, supply it with the token that was issued, I can successfully retrieve the over to protected resource, which is uh, the location resource with the CUUID. So the next steps are uh, to provide support for authorization code implicit and client credentials grant type. So this will be done by uh, adding the XML configurations for these in the Spring Security Over2 configuration file. Then uh, the next important task is to provide custom implementation of user detail service and user details. Uh, these are uh, the classes and interfaces of Spring Security Core and uh, they will uh, their responsibility is to provide a mapping between the objects that will be used by spring security and uh, the users table of open mrs so in the demo our user was bob so that was basically hardwired but uh, after setting these up uh, we'll be able to read directly from the open mrs users table uh, the next uh, important thing to be implemented is the client details user service and client details so uh, these are the classes and interfaces of Spring Security OAuth, and uh, what they are going to do is basically uh, read from the OAuth to client table, uh, which gets filled up during client registration, and provide details, uh, provide objects to Spring Security OAuth to with it. Uh, the next important part is the token store. Uh, currently, for the demo, I have used a in-memory. Uh, token store which comes with Spring Security OAuth. Uh, it is not very reliable as there ha there have been cases where uh, the issued token uh, when it is sent in the authorization header to uh, retrieve the protected resource, uh, the server denies that the token is valid. Uh, that is uh, that uh, I mean this error is basically because of the in-memory implementation, and it will be rectified once. Uh, the tokens are persisted in the database so this is probably the first thing I'm gonna do yeah so like there was a possible challenge uh, there is a possible challenge of linking spring security login with the normal login so I'm gonna uh, post more details about this on openmrs talk alright guys so these are some resources you can take a look at and if you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to uh, talk to me on uh, on OpenMRS Talk or the IRC. My nickname is Manny.
एम डबल ए एन वाई एंड थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस प्रेजेंटेशन एंड आई होप यू हैव अ ग्रेट डे